Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. When I was looking for a new picture to color, I grabbed a Fabiana Atanasio book and suddenly I realized that I hadn't done a video about all my colorings in her books. And it was a bit of a shock because I really like her art style. Uh, maybe I didn't do one before because I haven't colored that many in her books, although I have them all. Um, for the fairy tale uh, books, that is, not hermitographic ones. Um, but since I've done my little series of what I have colored, I managed to do a, some extra in her books. So I thought it was about time to show them. And I've tried to uh, yeah, take the least favorite uh, out of the... Uh, stack and then building up towards the pictures that I like the most. Now I'm going to try and put the tripod a bit higher so that everything is well in frame. The books are likely a bit uh, smaller than another coloring book, I think. They they feel like it. I don't know if they are, but they feel a bit smaller. So I'm going to start with the Jungle Book. Some editions are in English, some are in Italian, because I couldn't find the English um, editions anymore. But that's totally okay. I was very happy to find them in another language. Um, so, and I've only done one picture in this one. It's my least favorite, but I still had to have it. And it's this one. I'm not sure what was in the background, but I've uh, painted it with black acrylic, I think. And then, um, yeah, colored in Mowgli and, and the snake. I think this was done with inkens because it's quite flat. Although it's a coloring from 2020, I couldn't be bothered with doing the snake. Um, especially since I didn't like my swirl, I think, um, back in the day. So I did a little gel pen on the snake, but that was about it. I'm really happy with how Mowgli turned out. But um, overall, it's not a great coloring, but okay. I, I did one in, in this book, so it's not uh, empty anymore. The next one, the next ones are in Alice in Wonderland and I did a few, not too many either, but I did a few and I'm going to start from the back, it's always more handy. I did this double page spread in 2018 and then I still, ro I still wrote down what I was using. I don't do that anymore, I don't even write it down in a book, I just color for my pleasure and um, yeah, it's, it's always a guess what I've used, but what I like about this picture is definitely the woman, the woman's face. Um, I don't know, but I did my shading quite okay for 2018, and I like the baby's red cheeks. He's so angry that he, he was blushing all the way. So, uh, and of course, I love my Alice as well. I decided to give her another color uh, of her dress. But then all the extra little things, I wasn't too sure how to color them. And uh, yeah, they're very basic. But overall, I think it turned out quite nice. And I hope I did another one in this one. Or didn't I? Oh no, I only did one. Ooh, I only did this one. Okay. But it's a double page spread. So okay, I did... Two. No, that was the only one. Okay. In Peter Pan, I did more. Not a whole lot, but I definitely did more. This was uh, not my purpose of doing so, but I had a, a leftover of acrylic paint and I yeah, did this, but I'm not sure if I will ever color it. And in this book I did these two. One page was done with um, 
a specific type of pencil and the other one was done with a budget pencil I think he was done with the budget ones from my favorite discounter and I can't remember what I used on her. I stopped writing it down in my books luckily. It's only the date that I've done, so March 2019. Um, fairly happy with how this one turned out. I did my C color a bit different than on her page, but that's quite okay. I've used some metallic paints here and there and a stickles or something like that on that on the pearl but it's not quite shimmery I think I messed it up <laughs> but I really liked how this uh, turned out especially I was very impressed with the budget pencils that I could make his pants look nice and uh, yeah And I also did a pirate page. Now this one, it's it's more vivid in uh, on video than it is in real life. For my feeling, it's quite muted and dark and poof, not a very poppy page. But yeah, it was done in 2018 with Inktense graphite ink pencils. Yeah, for some. Parts, not for everything. Prismacolor and Kuretake gold. Oh, I did some gold. Where did I? Oh, yeah, on his uh, belt here. I know I had a lot of fun working on them, but if if I look at older pictures, I always color them darker than then. Although I, I still can uh, do some darker themed pages nowadays as well, but... I try to make them more vivid. And then we are hopping over towards Snow White. Didn't do a lot in this one either. And these pages are also quite old. I didn't write down my date, but it's, it's a quite an old page. I was well well it's it, that's a Dutch word I was quite happy with the fog that I created so the stripes not this fog but the fog above her face so it was a bit more spooky I don't like this part but yeah and then I did this one also in 2018 Neo Color 2 Prismacolor Polychromos and Stickles Stickles on her hair yeah on her dress as well here and there yeah and I really like the crinkly sounds from these pages in her books. The, her books crinkle the, the most nicely Look, here. Ah, <laughs> ASMR. Now this is done in Inktense for the most part, I think. I didn't write it down and I... Oh yes, I did. Inktense, Polychromo, Spectrum Noir, Kuretake, Ganzai Tambi. Yes, that's for the, the snow effect. The Spectrum Noir Glitter, I'm not sure where I did... Oh yes, I did them in the, the little snowballs, but it's, the, the camera isn't picking that up. So in the base of the castle is uh, Inktense and a bit of shading with Polychromos, but the trees, I, I left them like they were. But yeah, that's okay. And I think I've used Soft Pastel or something like that for the background, did I? Hmm... No, I can't read it, what I've written down, but I think it's soft pastel. It was a fun page to do. I, I really liked working on this one. And that was it for this book. So not super much, but it's not always easy with her books because she does some weird things in clothing and that's sometimes putting me off, but... Um, since I managed to tackle something in my Pinocchio book, I'm going to try that to do more like this, for example. 
all those details in her cape. Ooh, no, thank you. And Hansel and Gretel. I didn't do that much, I think. I did this page. I believe it's a tutorial to show you how I did my uh, sepia themed pages or, or vintage pages where I work with different types of browns and grays. Uh, the background is done with a uh, used coffee pad. So it's, it, yeah, we have a coffee machine with um, separate salt pads. And uh, when we've used it, now I have my um, Ranger inks. But back in the day, I dabbled around with those pads to create my vintage look. And this one still has to be colored, but I was thinking at first for doing him, but I didn't feel like using only browns and grays uh, last week, so um, I decided on something else. So he will be done sooner or later. And then this, these two, I really like, like this page. Um, I must say I don't like coloring in s such details very much. Although I love my donut and the cookie, but some things mm, I don't like coloring at all. But yeah, it's, it's part of the page, of course. But I really had fun doing those two and, and coloring in her hair and his hair, especially. I really like how his hair turned out. So, yeah. And that was it for Hansel and Gretel. Then we are going to the Wizard of Oz <clears throat> and it was from this book that I chose to do a page when I stumbled upon this page I noticed that I already dabbled my coffee on this background and I was coloring in these uh, flowers with a white gel pen but I, then I had stopped so I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to continue what I was doing back in the day. And um, I think it was in 2020 that I did my coffee background because I, um, I did do it back then during lockdown. I've written down, well, where's the time? And um, so I decided to uh, start this page and it's very simple outlined all the flowers it was a lot of work my signal ball was empty <laughs> um, and i decided to cover the patterns in her dress here with gouache metallic gouache by artisa i've used stickles of course i've used some cheap glitter uh, glue and it has a bit of a 3d effect And so yeah, this is a, a page that I've colored in April, so it will be visible in my finished pages video for April. And I did her hair with uh, erogiton pencils. Forgot what I did for her skin, but her dress is um, intense, if I'm not mistaken. And she has, of course, some s not stickles. It's called rayer. I'm going to show the bottle it's similar to stickles so this is an example of stickles and this is the rare glitter glue unfortunately the name isn't mentioned anywhere um, it is mentioned on the website but not on the bottle but it's the same principle although it's less covering for my feeling than stickles they work a bit more difficult and they leave more white space uh, in between but for her bows it wasn't a problem and I was already super glad that I had a, a blue so um, yeah so now I have nice neighbor pages back uh, yeah April 2020 April 2022 so with two years difference uh, now they have uh, accompanied each other this one is done in 2019 I've written it down on the leaf and um, 
I'm not always doing the same uh, kind of clothing, the colors. I was very happy with how his uh, hair, I don't know how it's called in English, manes. Here it's called manen. Um, how they were done. And I like her hair as well. I think it's polychromos. Prismaco water polychromos. Yeah, I think yeah, I did more polychromos on her hair if I'm not mistaken. And that was it for yeah, the Wizard of Oz. Now we're going to Beauty and the Beast. You see that I have a lot of uh Italian editions. Okay, and I did, ooh, excuse me, I did these two accompanying pages, and afterwards I had enough of grays and, uh, and browns, but I like the effect, and I decided to not do them the same, but I did them in the same style, but I changed up the, the, the yeah, the flowers, as you can see, and the leaves, and the border of the frame. So, and I really like how it turned out, I must say. But I think I had more fun with this picture than with uh, Belle and her dad. Maybe because I could use some more stickles on that page. Um, but yeah, it was uh, fun to work on, but afterwards I needed some color. <laughs> but I, I really like the effect. And the background is again done with... Um, coffee and I did this in February 2020 and this in March during lockdown I've written it down so with a month I, I think I did do them straight after each other but maybe it was the end of February and then the beginning of March but uh, yeah and then I've also done this in 2019 Again, I really don't like every little detail on these um, things, so I decided to paint them in a metallic um, paint. <laughs> so, and that's uh, that's giving it a nice effect. Then. We are going to Cinderella, and if I'm going to the back, I'm going to my favorite pages in this book so far. I've done this, I did write it down somewhere in February, both, both in February, I did it in a, a glitter gel pen so it's not quite visible. I really like that I've blanked out some details here, I think. I think there were details and I couldn't be bothered to do them, so I've painted it with black acrylic and did some glitter glue on top and that's why it sticks a bit together, but it doesn't hurt. They don't hurt each other, so... And I really like how this turned out, both of them. And of course, the shoe has glitter, and his armor is also shiny. And the background were the inks, the Ranger inks, oxide ones. So yeah, quite happy with uh, these two pages. And did I do another one in Cinderella? I, I'm, yeah, I did one. In 2018 so it has been a while I was very brave doing all the details back then and I did her hair a lot darker than I did now in the back but that's okay it's it's always nice to have some different type of uh, persons or objects or whatever sometimes you color them this sometimes you color them that but I must say I like them both 
I like them both so I did yeah I did the same color for her hair band I didn't notice so I, that's what I did the same but she's wearing something else here in, in, uh, in comparison to the later page so haven't done much in this book but really loving it and what I've done in it I'm very happy with and I've only done one page I believe in this one but it's my favorite uh, always when I look at it I can't believe that I did it uh, because I really like how his beard turned out his hair everything is, is glowing I, I can't even remember how I did those those uh, waves and and I think I have must, must have used some uh, acrylic paint or something I'm, I'm yeah I'm super happy with this one and I think I have used um, a kind of a fake gelato for the background and I did use some um, iridescent gelatos on top you can see it the, the pinkish color here and there is iridescent gelato and I've put some stickles or other glitter glue on top and here it's a uh, glossy accent some gold splatters a bit of an effect in his glasses if you look at like this you're, you don't notice anything but if you hold it in the light it becomes bluish so this is definitely one of my favorites I like how I did the wood and of course he had a lot of details going on I think in his sleeve here and I painted uh, his top here and the sleeve with gouache paint so that's a savior I'm going to use it for more of my pages in these books um, but yeah super super proud of this one I'm, I'm really wow did I do this really I that, that feeling he's giving me that feeling because I can't remember how I did his beard I think I've outlined the black lines and then just went in with with I think Prisma colors because they yeah they, they look soft um, so I think that's what I did I didn't paint his beard I think no yeah I'm super super happy with this one so and that was the last book I had to show in the last picture so I really hope you've liked this little uh, video about all the colorings in the Fabiana Atanasio books and if I discover another artist which I haven't highlighted or something then I will definitely record a new video for now i'm going to say goodbye wish you a very lovely day and i hope to see you soon in a new video thank you for watching bye